Look at this, dude. I'm on my knees and my head is, I'm looking at your roof. How did I own one of these? I used to own one. All right, buddy, stay close. Don't hit me. Oh, noisy crickets. Hold on. Got to warm up the cricket so it can get going. Cricket power! <laughs> Hold on. I got to get my crickets going too. Yeah, they're going. All right. Let's do this. So... Turns out I recorded for a solid half hour. Had somebody cut me off. We'll cut to that footage now. And uh, had no audio. None at all. Oh, traffic. Traffic. Can't see through you. Can I go? I can go. <sighs> what are you looking at? Hi, hi. Oh, it feels so good to not have a backpack. Oh. I don't want it to snow tomorrow. Maybe it won't. Maybe all of those clouds are a lie. Maybe the clouds are lying. <sighs> I can't wave. Awesome turn signal, buddy. Way to be at the last second. Good job. Share the road, share the rules. So that's actually an interesting topic. Recently, the lovely state of Colorado, a, a United States Senator, actually, representative of Colorado, decided to push forward, push into voting anyway, a, a law that would allow bicyclists to yield at stoplights and completely run stop signs. Completely. Like, just, you know, slow down, I guess, yield, technically, but basically just run right through them. And the reasoning being was purely because, unlike a car, people on bicycles are exposed to the elements. And all I could think is, like, okay, that's, that's you know, mildly fair, but, you know, what am I doing? Am I not exposed to the elements? I don't have a radio. I don't have air conditioning. So, am I not exposed to the elements? I mean, like, yeah, I've got a helmet on, but technically by Colorado law, the only thing you have to wear is eye protection. That's it. Just eye protection. So, that being said, like, you know, can I lane split? Can I run stop signs? Can I yield at stop lights just because, yeah, I can't be bothered? And the whole point was that they thought if they made a law where the bicyclists didn't have to obey the law, they would obey that law. And that is, that is the logic of this state. And uh, I wish I could actually link the article. Thankfully, it was voted down. I mean, you know, don't get me wrong. I ride a bicycle around, around here myself. So in certain respects, it would have actually been kind of cool. But it, it's the whole principle of it, really, that just makes no sense at all. Borgia. I would say, look, Mom, no hands. But uh, my mom might actually watch this. And she would probably want to inflict some type of bodily harm upon me, even though I'm old enough that I have gray hair. So that's like a mattress. It's nice to actually be out of traffic for a minute. Woo! <laughs> oh, 
we'll get another breakfast. Hi, Shadow Man. So, yet another thing I don't understand is people that live out in areas like this, it's fine, you know, it's, especially in the summer, it's really pretty to get a good view of the reservoir and all that. But it's like typically people who live out in these kind of areas are usually like more isolationist in terms of like beliefs and stuff. But somehow they they end up cult grouping together and make these like antisocial communities. I mean, not everyone up here, obviously, but there's, you know, it happens a lot, especially in like, you know, southern Colorado areas and like up in the mountain, more mountain towns and stuff. Um, I don't know if it happens like that anywhere else. I can just speak for Colorado. And, but you just see it, and you go through these areas, and it's like these towns of people that just don't want to associate with anybody else. Um, it just doesn't, I, I've never understood it. Like, you know, if you don't want to be around anybody, you don't want to be around anybody. Why do you have a group of people together who don't want to be around anyone? But this is my fault for expecting logic. And logic is not something that prevails on the regular. Going so slowly. They weave about. Maybe they'll realize they're they're upsetting me. Share the road. Like, do you guys really have to ride freaking too wide with your bars in the in the road? I mean, seriously. Oh, look at the donkey. Little donkey. Hey, what's up? How's it going? Hey, that 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 was like the most emphatic wave I've seen. That dude was like, he was like full on motorcycling camaraderie. That's one of the great things about a bike is like you don't have to know anybody. You don't have to know who they are. It doesn't matter. All of the things we normally like get in the way of like, you know, our stereotypes and all this stuff that we think about people. It doesn't matter. Like, because when you're on a bike, like, you have no idea. You know, especially people have gear on and stuff. You don't know what their skin color is. You don't know what their beliefs are. You don't know anything about them. You know nothing. And it doesn't stop you from extending, you know, the basic cordiality of like, hey, we've got something in common. If somehow humanity could take that and uh, extend it to other facets of life, the world would be a much better place. It seems simple, in theory. I don't know, maybe if, we, uh, if everybody just walked around with motorcycle gear on, maybe that would do it. I don't know. I don't know. Careful. Do-do-do. <laughs>